I grew up in California, both northern and southern. Uh, spent a lot of time on the water, sailing, surfing, body surfing. Uh, but at about junior high age, we moved overseas to Nairobi, Kenya. When we came home, I decided to enroll in college and ended up uh, in Costa Mesa at Orange Coast College where they had a marvelous uh, skin and scuba diving program. I went ahead and joined the Advanced Diver Program, ADP, at Los Angeles County. So from ADP, I went straight into UICC. And then once I graduated, I started teaching and taught for the next 10 years. I had always been a photographer writer more than a spear fisherman when it came to diving. And I started selling my photographs and then quickly discovered that it was easier to sell my underwater pictures if I had a story to go with them. So I actually started writing as well. But I credit my early writing and photography for the diving magazines and working with LA County starting my journalism career. Early on I became involved also in film work and I spent four years diving and filming for Discovery Channel, um, diving with humpback whales, uh, revisiting Truck Lagoon to see the wrecks again 30 years after the first time I'd been there diving. It's just so peaceful. I love the quiet I love the weightless sensation. I love the curiosity of the animals. The animals do not fear you, and the fish, especially the Garibaldi, swimming right up to you and looking in your face plate. Or we were out at San Clemente Island um, the other day, and we uh, were photographing, and we had a young uh, male sheephead that just wouldn't leave us alone. He was like a puppy dog. So I just love the animals, the peacefulness, the beautiful light. The, the quietness. I'm still diving with some of the same people that I started diving with 30 years ago and we all started as young unmarried people. In fact I married uh, one of my dive buddies and he was a friend and a dive buddy 30 odd years ago and we were married uh, six months ago. I actually grew up in Southern California, um, but I really never swam. My parents didn't swim, so we really didn't go to the beach. When we went to the beach, we went in up to our knees, and I actually didn't learn to swim until I had to fulfill a PE requirement in college. The thought of scuba diving, of course, never ever occurred to me. Pretty soon after that, I actually had a chance to go to the Red Sea in a lot, and I did one of those uh, assisted scuba diving things where the scuba diver was holding my hand and took me down on scuba and uh, that was just great. It was beautiful. The college I was working at, it's actually Caltech and they had a 10 week long course that actually combined open water with advanced. When I heard of ADP, the advertisement said, oh, this is a PhD of diving. And I thought, ooh, that sounds really good. It was an amazing experience. I found that the people who are involved in this program are absolutely the best. There's really nobody around, around that I know of who dedicate themselves this much to something that they're this passionate about. Here I am back at ADP that I took last year and this time I was on the other side of the table. I was one of the dive masters. My current job I got from a scuba diving buddy of mine. Um, I also met my boyfriend at my scuba diving club. So I would have to say, yes, scuba diving has definitely changed my life for the better.
I feel very, very sorry that the divers of today cannot see the diver, the diving of yesterday, the way it was. They'll, they can't imagine. There's no way you can tell them and show pictures and they're not seeing anything. They can't get anything. Everything's a preserve or restricted or they can just look. And uh, I hope that it will come back, but um, I don't think diving will ever go back to where it is. There's just too much pollution and um, too many people poaching and too many companies and just people that just don't care. They just don't care. Ruining it for others, that's the whole thing.